Hi, my name is Benze. I'm an engineer working on SAMGRAP since its launch in 2020. This video explains reachability, a core concept of SAMGRAP supply chain. In case you didn't hear, SAMGRAP supply chain is our new product. It helps you fix the security issues caused by your dependencies, but without flooding you with alerts. So let's look at what reachability analysis is and how it lets you prioritize the 2% of alerts that count. A typical dependency scanner like GitHub's Dependabot tends to show hundreds of vulnerabilities. But what does it really mean to have a vulnerable dependency? Our first alert is about the Trim New Lines library. Calling its end function can lead to a denial of service attack. Our sample code really does use an affected version of the library, but it's safe from attacks because it never actually calls the end function. Our second alert says an old version of LXML is vulnerable when a specific option is disabled. Again, our sample code does use an affected version of LXML, but it's safe from attacks because it never sets that option to false, so neither of these alerts need to be addressed. We hear that most developers just ignore all these alerts, since so many are false positives. SEMGRAP supply chain reports this as an unreachable vulnerability. That's because it scans your dependencies and your source code. It knows how to determine if someone can actually exploit the way you use the library. Now if we change our code to use the insecure setting, SAMGRAP will notice and flag this vulnerability as reachable. You can then review these findings separately on our web app. Our customer policy genius found that thousands of their vulnerabilities really were unreachable, so they only ever address the few that are reachable. In this example, we found 103 unreachable, but only two reachable vulnerabilities. Other tools just show around 105 alerts on the same project. This page lets us click through to the vulnerable usages of the library. It takes us to the source code, which really is using the affected functionality. Now that we confirm this needs to be fixed, we can either have SAMGRAP help with upgrading the dependency or create an issue for the project developers. To recap, a typical vulnerability database knows the library versions that may be insecure, while SAMGRAP supply chain knows the specific code patterns that are insecure. To find out more about SAMGRAP supply chain, visit this link on samgrep.dev.